So I'm getting ready to head out to the field and uh, I just packed my uh, pack. I weighed it and without food and water, it's uh, 34 pounds, but the pack by itself weighs close to eight. So really that's not too bad, but I'm gonna go through it so you guys can see what I'm bringing. Um, the only thing I haven't put on there is the sitting, the sleeping pad that uh, I'll put on later, but it doesn't really weigh anything. And I don't have food and water in here yet. Uh, I have a small thermos jar, food, thermos food jar, that I'm bringing some uh, beef tips so I can make a uh, beef. I'm going to grill the beef. In my frying pan, I'm going to put some rice, cranberries, corn, and we'll see how that goes. And I always use chicken, but I'm going to try beef this time. But anyway, I'm going to take you through my uh, pack and how I uh, oh, and how I loaded it. I have my saw, 21 inch. Bora Aurelis, I think they they call it. Use the standard bow saw blades. That's heavy. And, you know, but if I was doing a through hike, obviously I wouldn't bring that with me. I have my Nemo uh, sleeping pad, regular wide, 25 inches. And uh, that thing is so comfortable, it's unreal. I also have my little titanium grill. On this side, I have my sitting pad. I have my tarp. That's the um, head poles for my bivy. I'll get to that in a minute. And I have a Dyneema ground cloth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ground cloth down. Then I'll put this thing on top of it. Then my bivy. And then the, um, my sleeping pad to go inside. Main reason I use this and the sleeping pad underneath on top underneath it is or on top of it is to keep my uh, pad from getting popped by a uh, rock or twig or something like that. So, we'll break out the outside pack. I haven't put my water filter in. I'm soaking it right now. But this is the uh, bag. It holds all my tent stakes. The guy lines for my tarp. I got a fuel bottle. 500 millimeter topes pot with uh, my stove is in there. I'm trying, I bought a new stove. And I cannot believe how small this sucker is. It's like, that's my stove. Titanium, it doesn't weigh anything. And this is a, uh, my alcohol stove. It's back up just in case I, uh, I need it. I don't think I will, but I'm taking it anyway. I got some extra stuff string I don't definitely don't need all that but I'm uh never know how you got to stake your tarp out and then never know what the weather is going to be so that is my five by nine emergency tarp I won't need it but I got it 
my tinder bag in there i just have some cotton balls with uh vaseline on it my repair kit some leather gloves my battery so i can charge my phone and my gps a chem light uh like a sham wow so i can uh, uh wipe the tarp down if it gets too wet and another chem light so that's all that's on the outside oh i'm wrong yeah it's i forgot i got the inside i got the top pocket definitely won't need these but body warmers First aid kit, poop kit, get a piece of fat wood, and that's it. So I need, so this is my I got my frying pan. And uh I have a titanium I don't have the titanium but I got the frying pan and the lid and I got the uh, pot holder in here and I have a small grill because if I want I can uh, I put the grill on top and put coals on top of it, and it kind of helps bake it. So I got that in my pot holder. But I'll be cooking directly on the fire. Always bring a raincoat, although I'm not going to need it. I gotta have my pillow, Philo, Nemo Philo pillow. This is my bivy bag, and I will do a review on that. That's like the one of the better things I bought. My hygiene kit, where I got toothbrush, toothpaste, some soap, a couple wet wipes, uh, powder for my feet. And I think that's about it in there. Got it, my uh, thermometer. I got a small mirror in there so I can put the ointment in my eyes at night so they don't, my uh, eyelids don't stick to my cornea. Uh, flashlight. I got uh spare sleeping well not spare but they're sleeping clothes basically just a long sleeve shirt and some uh, socks and a uh, beanie hat probably won't need it though i have another pillow that's so i can put it between my legs kind of helps because i'm a side sleeper I always bring a spare base layer shirt and beanie hat. I have it lined with Dyneema, Dyneema bag, container to put my glasses in while I'm sleeping, but after my cataract surgery, I, hopefully I don't need that anymore. I always bring a puffy, even though it's, the temps aren't gonna be that cold, I always have a puffy. I learned my lesson. I have a bag liner, and that just gives me an extra layer to help me keep warm. And it helps keep my uh, 
normally my sleeping bag or quilt uh, cleaner, but I'm gonna use my uh, poncho liner today. Or this time. This is kind of a uh, controversial item. Rain pants. Uh, rain pants normally just stay in the bottom of my bag. But there's been a couple times when I've actually been glad I've had them. And I'm not definitely not going to need my uh, rain mittens. I just put them in there because they don't weigh anything. And, you know, they're just like the uh, rain pants. Just there in case. And that's... That's it. And I think I said 33, 34 pounds without food and water. I'll be taking two liters of water. So that's another four pounds. So close to 40 pounds by the time I throw my food jar in there. But, you know, that's not too bad. Training weight. Uh, I could have brought a smaller bag, but I don't see how I could have done it with the frying pan. If this would have been a hike like I'm going to be taking in the Philippines, I would try to go with the smaller bag. I would not have the saw. I might have the frying pan because I want to uh, live large. And so actually, you know, 33, 34 pounds, I'm, I'm happy with that, even with four pounds of uh, water. And I'll catch you guys when I get back. And eventually I'm going to do a review of my bivy bag. But anyway, you guys have a good one.